Hello, YouTube. Um, my name is Ben Mark Becker. Uh, I just got settled into my room at Capilano University. A friend and I decided that we'd do the profit speech for our graduation, but we wanted to make it a little interesting. I've always been making videos for my school, like for Pepper Alley's assemblies and stuff. And I wanted to make one last one. The profit speech, if you don't know, it's like, is telling the prophecies for the grads, like what they're gonna be doing in the future. Before us, people were doing skits and stuff like that to get some laughs, but I wanted to do a video with a bit of a skit, just with the speech and see how it went. The video would be us traveling in my car to the future, back to the future style, and then come back and share our prophecies of the grads. The teacher's in on it. So on the day of grad, right before we were supposed to present the speech, the teacher said we couldn't make it in time because we were vlogging. We'd gone to a car accident. They found, found our footage for us to present. And the, the found footage was our video, which was us vlogging. It ended up being a really, really, didn't plan much. Just went out and filmed for two hours and then edited it in as fast as I could. So it's pretty raunchy and crummy and there's green screen. Yeah, it went pretty well. I can't really complain. Could have done stuff better, but that's me. So I have the full video with the teachers and of course the video and then our speech afterwards. And yeah, watch what you like. Tell me what you think. Go 2017. Thank you, Devin and Megan. This is the time when I'm supposed to invite up the 2017 class profits. Unfortunately, they had an accident on the way here, and they're going to be too late to present their speech. Fortunately, they were vlogging all day, and they sent us our, their footage. I can't believe we left the speech to the night before grad. Yeah, Kern's gonna be pretty cheesed. I know. Don't you just wish we had more time? Must be some kind of hot tub time machine. Hot tub time machine. That's back to the future. A Robert Zemeckis. He's sending Marty 30 years back in time. But Dr. Brown is about to change all that. Are you telling me you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? Back to the future. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? TIME TRAVEL! <laughs> My life be like...
My life be like. Jade Nichols still stayed by his side. 
mascot for the April Leafs, Curtis Van Zanden, got in a fight with the recently drafted ah, mascot, Eli Goldshirt, and went viral on YouTube in the process. When we draw the in our old schools, we found a certain teacher in particular. Megan Vu, the first kindergarten teacher to love her job. <laughs> all in all, the future was pretty peaceful. We actually got stuck in a peaceful protest with pet. What's pet? People for ethical treatment of people. Oh yeah, that one's right by Bernard Johnston. <laughs> yeah, and he's so mad at Peter. Speaking of Peter, we got pretty hungry in the future. We found a farmer's market. Found Mass Lake's very successful farmer, Stan, where he finally got that degree from Stanford. Um, unfortunately, a degree in which doctorate really isn't worth that much these days. Speaking of degrees, one of our grads went above and beyond, utilizing time travel to become the worst, the world's first, pharmacist slash biologist backslash physicist forward slash mathematician, and that is Michelle Lee. I got pretty bored of looking for grads, so I went on YouTube. That's what you were doing? It was I thought, uh, you, you said yes, it was with speech. But did, did, did you find anything? You'll never believe it. Devin Fillion DeLorme, YouTube sensation with his cooking show, Debunk Cooks. <laughs> well, while he was on YouTube, I was watching TV. Max Gorin will become the first cook on the Food Channel's hit series, Naked and Afraid. <laughs> and he's sister to the famous spin-off show, Debunk Bakes. Debunk Bakes is actually in direct competition with Defato's baking business, both very successful. Was there anybody not in that show? Oh yeah, Tulsa McQueen, producer and assistant to Deepon Banks. This next grad, I never expected to be on TV. I almost peed my pants. <laughs> when we're watching TV, we... I, I really don't think I can say this you one. Got, you gotta say it. We saw Peter and we're still acting the way we have loved the world of the story of Ryan Ross. Thank you, Kristen. In this next story, we found a very outrageous Craigslist post by a Gabe Russell. Still trying to sell his retro mentor for a bogus amount of bitcoins. <laughs> we went to go check it, but we got in another car accident with another grad. It was actually with one of the grads. Lexi Steinwald crashing her fifth truck of the year, becoming uninsurable. <laughs> support for my time travel car because I have one of those. You'll never believe who picked up Psycho de Pajula, who managed to not only invent time travel, but get three different engineering degrees from three different schools. Speaking of moving on after tonight, only one guy who I have to call Dean McGinnis, Mr. McGinnis, anymore. The boy in Allie's arm, Psycho de Pajula, come on, take a bow! at his local Andy Warhol art club. Declan Crocker will become the first interpretive dancer to teach science. And this one will be the first Australian engineer in space. After years of hard work, Matthew Kearns will finally land a role on Wizard of Oz as a scarecrow. <laughs> Bethany Giovanello will become a professional pianist and biologist. I guess you could say she's pretty good with the organs. <laughs> Johnson will have much success when he lands a role in the live action version of Stuart Little. Luke Legard will lose his wedding ring. Because
because he got it in camouflage. Harry will still be like you. Heather will be a person. Shep will still be like the guitar. Taylor Love still has a lot of dogs. You know, all in all, the brats are still pretty successful with their educations gained at Sir John. Uh, speaking of, uh, what's Garrett going into? Education. Oh. Yeah. What's he gonna take? I wonder. Sand people, humidity, success, and although we may all be in different places, pursuing different dreams with different people, Ms. Prescott once said, Equilibrium isn't about staying the same, it's about maintaining balance as things change. As grads, we can expect our lives to change substantially in the coming years, and I would like to wish every one of you the best in finding your equilibrium. Any path that you choose will be the right one. This was a quote, quote from my sister that got me thinking. We may not know if we're choosing the right path or the wrong one. In fact, whichever path we choose doesn't really matter. The path we choose in life, it will not be the wrong one. Whatever path we choose, we will make our own, embracing all the bumps and unexpected curves that come along with it. In this way, we make this path our own. After this grad year of focusing on the future, choosing our universities, our jobs, and our endeavors, let's reflect. Look at what we've become, what we've grown into, and more importantly, how we've gotten here. Let's be in the present. Let's spend our time here, so we don't have time for the future. We can't all time travel. The future is a long way ahead, and our time is now. Thank you. Thank you for all the stories and speeches, and thank you again to everyone for being here to celebrate the graduating class of 2017.